to show all of the content of the survey. Uh, our survey uh, includes uh, a, a number of items, and it takes you know less than 30 minutes to complete it. But we, here's a sample on the screen here of a of a question that we ask: How often do you have personal devotions? And then here are the response categories we ask people to use. In addition to how often you have personal devotions, we also ask this uh, question of frequency about uh, Bible reading. How often do you read the Bible? Uh, prayer and how often you have family devotions. Uh, all of these are important indicators, we think, of where the heart is. I mean, after all, stewardship is, first of all, a matter of the heart. It's a spiritual matter, we say. And we find uh, spiritual indicators like, like this one are very predictive of stewardship attitudes and practices. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's move on to the value of the results of the survey. That was really helpful, Rick and Raj, kind of walking us through what the survey looks like and some of the questions that are being asked. Let's look now at the results of the survey. And Raj, could you talk to us about how that input provides spiritual foundation for church members? Uh, sure. Um, yes, uh, spiritual indicators is one of the four categories of the survey content we, we just covered. and. This area of spiritual indicators is it's interesting. It's, it's an area of stewardship that um, stewardship teams that we work with uh, often like to begin with because they say it, it is a, a foundational matter. Um, for example, uh, often after looking at the survey results, the stewardship team uh, or church leaders they will say, "My goodness, we we need to do more in our in our church and in the congregation to 